What have I done with it? Ah! With the power of his mind. First new Augur show out of ten. Very highly. Very highly. <laughs> Very highly out of ten. Okay. Very highly out of ten. What about uh, people in the back? I'd give it eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. <laughs> I, think, I think that's generous. But kick him out. Yeah. <laughs> I would say nine. Oh, okay. That's. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoy these videos I do please do subscribe on the button just below it helps the channel to grow and will help me in my adventures also if there's anything you want to know about being a musician on the road touring or being a drummer or anything like that let me know in the comments and I'll either answer there or try and put it into a video next week I thought I'd talk you through my in-ear monitor system. There's always a lot of mystery surrounding how these things work, but actually it's quite simple. These here are the left and right from my iPhone here, which I have a little adapter that plugs into the bottom and I play the tracks from the iPhone into channel 1 and channel 2. Channel 1 is panned to the left and that includes the backing track and the click track that I need to hear. Channel 2 is panned to the right and that has just the backing track which goes out to the front of house so that everyone hears the backing track but doesn't hear the click. 
And then here I have my in-ear monitors that has everything that I need to hear. I can also take a feed from the desk so that the sound engineer can give me things like bass drum, snare drum, vocals, anything else like that that I need. I can put that into another channel. This one here controls what I hear and this is the main output. The right channel there goes out to the desk so that they just hear the backing track and I hear through here the backing track and the click track and anything else that I've plugged into the little desk, the little mixer. So this is my monitoring system. It works very well, it's quite simple and I'm very happy with it. behind me is Bristol Cathedral which was in the Richard Burton film The Medusa Touch which I saw as a kid and scared the hell out of me. He's some kind of psychic crazy guy who if I remember rightly managed to crash a plane full of passengers with the power of his mind. It's probably why I'm scared of flying. Now, I haven't seen the film for years so I should probably re-watch it again tonight if I can find it. This is Christmas Steps, which was a favourite place to come when I was a kid. There was a joke shop about halfway up. Not there anymore, but it's very cool. 